Praise God, Pastor Alvin and Pastor Latoya White of Empowering Word Christian Center. Here, let's talk. <sighs> I was thinking about something. You know that the Word of God says death and life are in the power of the tongue, right? That's what the Word of God says. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who eat it, um, those who love it, eat its fruit, right? So words are powerful. God created the heavens and the earth, everything with words. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, you know, and we understand that that everything was created through the word or words and, 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 and everything that Jesus, mostly everything that Jesus did was through words. So we understand, he says, if you will say to this tree or if you will say to this mountain, so everything, so words are powerful. In fact, we know that the word of God talks about it, that words are seeds, yes. seeds. And really the ground is the heart. You know, in Mark chapter four, he talks about uh, the seed sown on the ground, right? He says there's wayside and then he says there's uh, stony and thorny and also good ground. Yes. So what we can take from that is that the seed has to match up with the ground in order for it to produce fruit. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm saying. Oh boy, now we gotta get something. Okay. What I'm saying to you is, is whatever you hear is seed. You turn on the TV and they say, oh, this disease is gonna kill you. If the ground in your heart already is suitable for that seed it'll it's that seed will come in there and it'll produce fruit mm -hmm. what i'm saying is but if the ground is not good if the ground is not good it won't receive that it won't receive that amen see and so in that what we're talking about is is that um your heart is your heart is already conditioned to receive certain seed. Mm, mm, that's good. We got staff saying amen. <laughs> your heart is already conditioned to receive. So what I'm saying is this is this right here. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. If, if, if somebody called me up and said, Pastor Alvin, uh, you know, John Doe, they go to your church. He robbed all the banks and robbed. Mm, mm, mm. If, if, my, if my heart is already conditioned to receive that, mm -hmm. I'm going to be like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Mm -hmm. See? Because my heart is already ready to receive that type of seed. See? Mm -hmm. And I what I've seen in 2020, mm -hmm. this is what I've seen. And I've seen Christians, man. I've seen... And I've seen people in media, I've seen politicians, I've seen leaders, I've seen you name it. They say something and people run with that thing. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, how can you run with that thing? Mm -hmm. Because their heart was already conditioned mm -hmm. to receive that type of seed, see? Yeah. So that's, see, that's why we got, see, that's the struggle that the body of Christ is having right now. See, a lot of times people don't get, uh, receive health and healing because their heart is not ready to receive that type of seed. It rejects that seed. It would rather receive a seed that's going to tell them they're going to die or they're going to be poor, they're going to be broke, or they're going to be. And the heart, the soil is already bad soil. See, that's why God told Isaac in Genesis 26, He said, Listen, don't go down to Egypt. I don't want you to sow into that ground. I want you to sow into this ground right here. See, the ground is so critically important and the seed is important. And I've heard, I've heard, like I said this year, we've heard so many things in media and what politicians are saying or leaders are saying or this person or th that person are saying. And you can tell what's in a person's heart based on whether they run with that seed mm -hmm. or if that seed dies. Mm -hmm. 
That's so good. What comes to mind mm-hmm. is the Philippians 4, mm-hmm. where it talks about um, whatever things are true, mm. whatever things are pure and lovely mm. and praiseworthy, meditate on these things. On those things. On those things. That conditions your heart. Yes, it does. Mm. It, conditions, it conditions a person's heart. Yeah. And so um, if a person's soil, if their heart is conditioned um, towards towards death or towards life Mm -hmm. all it needs is the right atmosphere Mm. and for it to be watered Mm. and once that atmosphere and water comes along wow boom now you have the fruit of that seed birthing forth yep so make sure no matter what we're hearing Mm -hmm. we have to meditate on what is true yes what is pure what is lovely praiseworthy yep you know those good things yep because fruit is guaranteed to come forth Mm -hmm. Whether good or bad, mm-hmm. we you know I grew up in the projects here in Rockford, Illinois, and they we they had those uh, we used to call them crab apples, uh-huh. those crab apple tree, and they said don't don't eat them crab apple, but that was a fruit, and and guess what they were no good for you, they could be poisonous, mm-hmm. and and but it bore fruit, the tree bore fruit, whether it was good or bad, fruit will come forth. Mm-hmm. See? Yes, and we want to make sure that we're bearing the right fruit. Amen? Amen. God bless you. Don't forget to like the Empowering Word Christian Center Facebook page and also subscribe to the Empowering Word Christian Center YouTube page. God bless you. God Have bless. a great day.